What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Bo Lewis, IFBB Pro, Fetch Diggs. We here at Fitness 1440. We're going to do a little arm today. Y'all look a little tired. I know y'all can see it in my face because I'm getting ready for this prep. And I'm doing this prep for Tampa Pro in one week. So we're going to ride it out, see what we can do with the arm. Put a little more, bit more blood into them, get them pumped up just a little bit for y'all. And we're going to show y'all how I get down today. First set, just to get the blood flowing in the arm, so do the warm up set. Y'all see I had 20 pounds, but you use 20 pounds right, you can get a lot of circulation going with just 20 pounds with a good squeeze on them. So don't never let nobody tell you that 20 pounds don't work. It works. Just watch the muscle when the muscle moves. You'll know what you're doing if you're doing it right, because you'll feel that contraction. Today, little value. We're gonna do a little value. We're gonna kind of speed it up a little bit. We ain't gonna go too slow, but we ain't gonna go too fast though. But we're gonna keep it at a nice tempo. A lot of people don't know that I started lifting weights from back when probably about 10 years old. Being the only child, and my uncle had weights in his house. I used to go over there and lift weights, and I ain't never know what I was doing, but all I used to know, something used to happen to my body. But then, you know, I grew up back in the days when the Credible Hulk used to come on, so I used to see him. That what made me want to get some muscles, because I always wanted to be like the Credible Hulk. Yeah, I know I'm short, but hey, it don't stop no from getting no muscle. So after that, you know, I kind of kept lifting, kept lifting through. When I got in junior high, I used to lift in, uh, in Memphis at Fairview High School, uh, junior high. Then I used to go to the YMCA and lift down there at the YMCA by the University of Memphis. So I kept lifting, you know, went to Powerhouse Gym out there in Memphis also and lift weights. But then it, it got from just lifting weights to it, it started getting serious not too long ago. Like, I moved out of Memphis just to move up to Nashville to do bodybuilding. When I came up here to Nashville, I met my coach, Dwayne Hampton, back in 2016. And we got started in 2017, like January. I probably was about anywhere between 245, 250 then. And he wanted me to do a show like six months later. So I'm looking at it like 245, 250, do a show six months later, I give it a shot. So I get to it, we get to work and we did the show. But it was a lot of hard work into that show. I got to the show, now man, now, this is my first show. Went from 245 to like 187 within six months. Competed at the Volunteer State, won the show. Then we did the Volunteer, I mean the Tennessee State show, about a month later or something. I won in two classes and got second in the overall. Then I did like flex a couple months later, 
went back up where well, I did the Volunteer State as a, I mean, uh, uh, Tennessee State as a middleweight. And I went back up the light heavy for the flex show. I won overall at the flex show. So, you know, I don't know nothing about the contests and stuff, so everybody telling me about the shows and stuff. They, okay, do national. I'm thinking you just keep winning the shows, keep winning the shows that that's how you turn pro or whatever. Not knowing you had to do certain shows to turn pro. So we did junior nationals as a light heavyweight. But when I get to junior nationals, they were looking at me like, hey, big man, you doing heavyweight, ain't it? I guess that's just how I looked it, like a heavyweight, but I'm telling them like heavyweight. I came in like right at the number, like 195 or so. But I ended up winning the whole show at Junior Nationals. So for me to get my pro card, okay, we was gonna do uh, North Americans. Found out the universe was closer, so we ended up going to do the universe. I ended up winning two classes in there and both overall. So in all, I came home with four trophies. Then, the same year, 2018, as I, when I got my pro card, it was my first year competing as a pro. Body didn't respond good, you know, okay, but I'm still gonna get on stage because that's what I want to do. Went down to Tampa and I placed 11 at my first pro show. So when I did that, I vowed to myself, nah, this ain't gonna happen again. So after I did Tampa, I sat back, went back to the drawing board and had to look and see what things we had to do to get better. Then we ended up doing uh, Puerto Rico. Went down there and got second next, door, next to Eduardo. Good, good bodybuilder. Played second at the Olympia one year. Got second next to him uh, uh, last year, 2019. Then ended up going to do Chicago Pro. We came out, you know, I was looking good. They wanted condition, more condition, so that's what I brought. Better condition. It's their first call out. I got seven, but I ain't complaining, but it is what it is. Everything is a, is a stepping stool and something to learn from. You learn from what you done did in the past, or you should learn and try to get better from it. So now, I done got that out of the way. So this is gonna be my first show of 2020. Tampa Pro, which is the first show that I did back in 2018. And this one, 11th place, nah, we ain't, we ain't placing no 11 on this one. We placing way high. I train to win. I don't train for the top five or none of that type of stuff. So I be hearing people telling me, okay, yeah, you, you, you look good for a top five. That's just what they mentality is. One thing I learned a long time ago is, Everybody got their opinion on certain things. And that's all it is to me, is an opinion. Don't nobody got no say so about what you're going to place at but the judges. If they was judges, then they wouldn't be standing or on the phone trying to tell you where you're going to place. They'll be sitting down on the panel with uh, Steve Weinberg and them and all them. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't, so we're going to do one more set of alternate dumbbell curves, and we're going to go on to the next one. Get started with these barbell curls. Get some more blood flowing in the arm. Try to stretch them out as much as possible. Get that blood circulating. <clears throat> as you see on these, I like to keep my arms back on these a little bit. Kind of like I'm dragging the ball up. 
That way I get a good contraction. A good, good squeeze on my bicep instead of bringing them out. Kind of putting, putting back or legs into them. Just bring them close to your body. As y'all see, y'all see the weight I'm using. I ain't trying to grow my bicep. I'm just trying to get a little more definition, a little separation in them. That's why I'm using the weight I'm using. That got me pumped up right there. Yeah, I feel it. I'm gonna do one more of these and I'm gonna go on to the next one. Which is gonna be seated. Seated curls. Better yet, we're gonna do the hammers. I ain't did hammers in a minute, so we're gonna do hammers curls after these right here. I'm gonna put them in the mix for a change. Kind of bring that separation out through here. Try to make it a little more deeper, a little more better. Oh yeah. So that was the last set on there. Now we're going on to do hammer curls. Gonna start off with these hammer curls. Get them going on. Bang got a couple reps on these right here. Do like two sets of each. When I do do them, I do two sets where I pull the rope out at the top, and I do two sets just bringing it up, keeping it close together. Well, a lot of y'all don't know, like, I've been talking to PJ. I ain't just started talking to him last year. I, ain't, I wasn't just talking to him in 2019. I think I started talking to him. Me and PJ probably, I, I probably said something to him like the end of 2017, maybe 2018. But I always said something to him, man, you know. It don't matter what it was, you know. He'll take care of that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it like this, it's like, Blackstone, a lot of people ain't gonna agree with it cause of certain situation or whatever been said, but at the end of the day, you know, like I say this, it's, he ain't never did me dirty, or he ain't never, you know what I'm saying, not spoke to me when I spoke to him. I ain't got nothing but respect for him, man, you know? Like, we had an event for a nutrition factory out there in Murfreesboro. Sammy come down. Uh, no, it wasn't Murphy, bro. It was out in Cookville, Crossville. My bad. So we had an event out there. Sammy come down from Blackstone. Super Saiyan Sammy. So he in Olympia this year also. 
I worked with him. He with Blackstone. So I've been working with him. Y'all just ain't seen it. As you see on most of my set, I try to keep it fair with anything between 10 and 12 reps. Sometimes, playing on how I feel, like on arms, I don't do no more than 10 or 12 reps. But on other body parts, I might do 12 to 15 reps. I do this cause, like I said once before, I ain't gotta do much on arms. And I ain't trying to grow them, so that's why I do these reps on here. Now, if my arm look like Marcus Rue arm, that'll be Mount Rushmore. That man had the, probably one of the biggest peaks on his arm that I seen. Him and Ronnie Coleman. Marcus Rue arm was just so thick and it round off like you sitting a real apple on your arm. If I had that, that front double bass would look a whole lot better. That'll do it right there for curl. Now we're gonna go on the tricep. Right here, we're gonna stick with these right here. We're gonna do some rope extension. But it's gonna be like, we're gonna do a pull down first. Then, right behind that, we're gonna turn it around and do the overhead extension for some real. Kind of change it up a little bit. Finish out these right here. I'm gonna go over here and do some some seated uh tricep push down on the machine over here. Get some more blood flowing. Gotta do it on these. So I'll move on to the next one. We got one week, y'all. Tampa Pro coming up. Two things I love doing, well, three things. I love working out. I love competing against the best there is out there. And I love eating. So in order for me to eat, I gotta compete. In order for me to compete, I got to work out. 
So with them right there, them, them three good combination for me. That's motivation. sitting back you know I, I watch a bunch of them dudes on the on YouTube and Instagram I don't hate on nobody I give a lot of dudes they props man from what they do that's why I don't mind posting other people's or whatever I know there's one guy out there man he made so much improvement me and him competed back in 2018 at the Junior National man and we did the show we did all uh, Puerto Rico together so that was our second contest but it went we competed together at Junior National. He was at Classic Physique. Man, Brett Wilkins, man. In Denver, the man improved so much. You know what I'm saying? I, I tip my hat to him, you know what I'm saying? That's why I can't wait to see him again. And he one of the guys that, he, a, he was a taller 212, but if you see him now, you be like, yeah, I see what's going on. He made the move to lead the 212 to go to the open. And the improvement he made was very nice. Looking at somebody like that, making an improvement, man, sticking to their diet and training hard. That right there, that's something to see. Something you can do for yourself. <clears throat> That's gonna be the end of that one. Now we're going to the finish. We're gonna do some uh, some dumbbell kickbacks. That's the way I like to go and finish my arms out. If it ain't rope or uh, extensions or uh, some kind of extension, I try to finish out with the kickbacks. Cause to me, you get a you get a good contraction with kickback. You ain't gotta use the heaviest weight. You ain't gotta use the lightest weight. You feeling it in your tricep. So that's what we finna do, go do some kickbacks. See y'all in a minute. <clears throat> Being in bodybuilding, I know it's, it's a give and take. Who you know, who know you. Do you got that look or that friendly face or, you know, is you a part of this group or part of that group? You know, I see all that, I hear all that, but, Back when I was trying to get sponsored from a lot of supplement companies and stuff like that, wasn't nobody trying to sign me. Cause I was one of the guys that nobody know or, you know, they probably about didn't want to take a chance or, you know, just looking at me like, oh, he ain't gonna make it or whatever. But you know, anybody can look at you or they can judge you from your looks or something, but they can't judge your determination, your hard work that's inside of you. And me, I work hard for everything. I don't want nothing free, but if I get it free, it's a blessing. Thank you. But when a lot of supplement company wouldn't even give me no opportunity, it all turned around to be, once again, Blackstone that gave me an opportunity. Signed me to a contract, you know, and helping me out. When, you know, a lot of people didn't want to take no chance on me. I'm trying to do the same thing as everybody else doing. I'm trying to put food on the table. I got to eat too, I got to pay bills. So at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people ain't gonna like it, 
But, you know, we all got to do what's best for us. Y'all got your family, I got my family. How you feed your family might not be the same way I feed my family. So you got to do your own, I got to do mine. Blackstone giving me an opportunity, trust me. I'm finna put it on my back and I'm finna run with it. I'm talking about, I'm finna run with it. I ain't the one that get no contract or whatever and just be lazy cause oh, I'm, I'm sponsored or whatever. No, that ain't never been me. I ain't never been lazy. I appreciate everything that I get, you know what I'm saying? And PJ giving me an opportunity and I appreciate him for that, for real. So, you know, like I said, people gonna have something to say, but all right, it's, it's opinion. I ain't got nothing to say about what y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? What y'all do is what y'all business. What I do is my business. I ain't talking about nobody, and you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get out here, make a name, make some money for myself, feed my family. That's how I finish my arms off, doing yeah. kickbacks. Yeah. Good exercise to finish them off. You get a little, get a little pump going. Get that tricep, get the hanging. Not jiggling. Solid. Solid. Only get better. Only gonna get better. 2020, we coming strong, we gonna finish strong. Mr. O, we coming to that Olympia stage. December, we gonna get there. Not to be a spectator. We gonna get there, perform for all y'all. Blackstone. PJ, appreciate it, and we out, cut, cut.